hello guys welcome to this new tutorial with crying gen 5 and today i will show you how to import object and uh, hey hi in your scene and how to set up the environment probe so let's go on the brush and let's go on the object architecture and buildings we can choose uh, any model we want we can take the electrical building you can just drag and drop whatever you want then i will take the another one like this one and same way then if you can see the the model it's totally black and it doesn't have any reflection um, so we can go back uh, let's go on the mesh and click on environment probe you can place it wherever you want uh, maybe in the center of the level uh, we can we need to increase the the size of the probe so let's go here and uh, let's do like 500 500 and the height like 200 now the box is uh, it's covering all the level now we can go back and we can click on active and we need to generate the cube map so click it and we can increase the projection oh, okay we can stay maybe with zero that four as you can see now uh, the model is looking nice and this is a real-time uh, reflection so if you move the model around the house you will see the shadow covering this one now i will show you how to import an ai so let's go uh, to the entity panel ai and character and drop the human uh, in the property panel you will have a, a lot of uh, uh, section where you can change the the model with the custom one uh, you can change the behavior tree the equipment pack faction and everything that uh, cover the intelligence of the of the player uh, if you want to uh, move the object you can just go here and move then you can rotate you can scale it and you can group the the object uh, maybe you have uh, like 20 object you need to move it to another place you can just select everything and click with the right button mouse and create a group now you can move wherever you want and of course you can ungroup everything uh, with you can click ungroup and that's it uh, okay so that's it for now uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial